Hey guys, Lazy Gamers here, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I will show you how to fix install suspended error on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I have seen many people complain about this problem on Reddit and also on Activision's forum sites. Even I have faced a similar issue, and there were no videos uh, which were straight and clear. So I'm making this video for you guys so that you don't have to f uh, face the issues as I did. Please note that these are the solutions for PS4 but it is similar to Xbox as well. Before we get started, uh, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel for fixes, game breaking glitches, countdowns for events and more. Also make sure to like the video so that pe more people will get this video in their recommendations and help them fix this error. And also make sure to watch the entire video, uh, video so that you can try all methods and fix this other error without watching it later. If you want to try each uh, method by uh, step by step then make sure to add this video to your watch later playlist so that you can come back to this video uh, with that being said let's get started with the first method I'm sure everybody has done this steps um, the which I'm going to show you right now so uh, if you don't want to watch this part then you can just skip to the next part I have all the timestamps in the description below uh, if you have not done this then let's continue with this method so the first thing you have to do is go to settings of your PlayStation go to account management and go down to activate as primary PS4 and make sure to activate uh, the account as your primary ps4 and if you ha already have it activated then just deactivate it and activate it again and after you have done that go back to account management and click on restore license and then just restore your license and 60% uh, of you guys will get the problem sorted and if you're still facing an issue then let's talk about method 2 Method 2 is basically to in reinstall the data packs which I've already downloaded and I know that most of you have already done this by watching other videos and as I said I have all the timestamps in the description below so that you guys can go and skip to the next part so if you have not done this then um, it is for you so what you have to do is uh, hover over modern warfare on your PlayStation home screen and press down on the d-pad and go to PlayStation store and when you're on that and then on the right side you will find something called your add-ons and just click on that and then download all the packs again and now if you're all still facing an issue with this then let's go to method 3 in method 3 all you have to do is just reinstall data pack 1 this helped many people fix their problem but if it doesn't then I have method 4 for you guys so once you go into the game and then once you click on modern warfare then you should get a pop-up which says download the data packs and then when you do that the first option will be data pack 1 and next to the data pack 1 you will have an MW logo next to it so that's when you know that you have to download it if you don't have it and instead you have a check mark next to it then you have to do method 4 and if you do or if you have the logo MW logo next to data pack 1 then just go and install data pack 1 and if it works then you don't need to continue or else let's go to the next method method 4 is really simple all you have to do is uh, reinstall the full game and uh, also delete the uh, save data from your console i know that uh, the game itself is like 150 gb and above uh, but we can't do anything because we have already paid the money and uh, you just don't want to lose it or go uh, let it go for waste so if you don't want to do this step then you can directly go to five so it's going to be like a continuation but i recommend directly going to five uh, instead of doing this but uh, method five is a little uh, complex so now let's go to uh, method five so method five is the last and final method which i know which is going to work for you guys i mean it's going to work 99.9 percent uh in this method all you have to do is reset your console and trust me it works i reset my console and it did work for me personally so i recommend you guys do this uh you can just back up the games and uh, all that stuff for your to your external hard disk so that after you reset your console you can just restore your data back and then everything should be good and uh, running really perfectly so i have done this and it works and then uh, i have wasted a lot of time on reinstalling the data packs it does work but some for some men, uh, people it's gonna work and 
I have seen that many people it actually worked. I have seen on Reddit and also on Activision. So uh, I have just tried the four, uh, the fifth method and it worked on my first try. So uh, I recommend you guys do this. If you're scared, just go for it. It's going to be worth. So this is it for today's video. And let me know which method worked for you guys in the comments below. And if you're one of the 0.01% of the people whose game is still broken, then I recommend you guys uh, contact Activision or Sony for more help. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.